So one of the most important things going to it next season is obviously doing your kind of your checklist and going through what you need for the next season. Now, you could take this as seriously or not seriously as you want, but it definitely gives you a leg up as you get into next season. Uh, instead of just giving you a list of these are things you should do, I'm going to actually point out some websites and tools you can use that you can over time kind of develop your own flavor to this and will kind of teach you where in the future you can do this kind of on your own because that's the purpose of my channel to help you become a better guardian. So one of the first things I start out with is a website called Destiny Recipes. It's got a lot of great tools. One of them is a preseason checklist. Again, use some common sense if you're using this because what you, you do on your guardian might be a little bit different than what other people do, but let's get started. So first off, there's this dashboard on the side that gives you some general ideas, and then you'll see the stored XP. This is a general overview of how many bounties you have and what XP you will think you'll get in the next season. You can even drill down and see what bounties that you currently have. Now, if you're curious how this works, I have a video where I go over all the bounties and what bounties you should be saving, but this will allow you to put it in a real term practice and kind of understand what you have signed up for and if you need to increase that in some way. In addition down here, you'll also see an area for resources. So obviously a lot of these resources you will get off your seasonal track in the next season, but it's nice to get a head start. In fact, some of these things like Ascendant Shards, Spoils of Conquest, Enhancement Prisons, things like that, I will actually get more than I need. So it actually goes to my Postmaster. So on my Postmaster, I'll actually have additional that I can pull for the next season. Also, you'll see materials. Now, obviously, materials are used for leveling up your armor and things like that. And obviously, I have some work to do. But again, these are things that you want to try to get some of early because when you get to the next season, you're going to be doing enough grinding. You don't want to have to go grind materials. So obviously, if you're trying to find some of these materials, one of the places you can check is Destiny 2 Checklist. Destiny 2 Checklist has a lot of great things in here where you can see what the exchange rate from Spider is, what you can do as far as buying the Banshee. So again, if you're a little bit low, you can come here and figure out what you need to get. Destiny 2 Checklist also has some great things around vendor roles, whether it's armor or, arm or guns that you can get. And then also, if you're trying to finish some things up in the season, if you're trying to see the Lost Sectors, hey, I need to get this particular piece of armor from a particular Lost Sector, you can go in here and you can pick up what's coming up for the next 30 days. So again, at the end of the season, you're always trying to find that last little bit of thing you need, and this is a good way to do that. Now that we're done with Destiny 2 Checklist, let's go back to the main checklist. And now you can see some targeted weapons. Obviously, this is based on people's opinions. Some of this is relevant. So for instance, we know that scout rifles are going to be anti-barrier for next season. So this shows you some potential of ones that you have and how it rates on quality. So this is something you can use as subjective. I also have a list of weapons I would be going after at the end of the season. So again, check that out. But again, this is a good, a good guideline. But again, use your own judgment as you're going using these tools. Maybe you want to do something a little bit different. The other thing you can do when you're thinking about what you have left in the season is Destiny 2 sets. So let me show you this. So Destiny's 2 sets will actually show you the seasonal content, what was for that season. You can see things that you actually have. This shows in vault, masterworked, and unlocked in collections. If you want to see what you have left, you unclick this collected item, and you can actually see, if I go back to seasonal content, I'll have a few things I need to get. This is a great way of making sure that you get whatever you wanted out of that particular season so you have it in the future. Again, really comes in handy. So going back to the checklist then, obviously vault space is a very, very important thing. And you can see I've done a little bit of clearing here, but let me show you how I did that. So Destiny Recipes, and I'm gonna go back here, has a vault cleaner tool that I've already actually started running. Okay, and actually I can go back here and show the config. So this allows you to take a lot of your weapons and armor and put different things on, basically different filters to show what you, what you potentially want to clear out. Because again, you're gonna need vault space when you get into the next season. So for instance, what I like to do is I sort things by archetype and damage type. And the reason is, let's say I have a bunch of rapid fire arc scout rifles, okay? And I have a set of rolls on a particular gun. Maybe what I haven't noticed is I have a gun that's exactly like that one, but that's a different gun, but has the exact same perk. So that's an easy way to go in and filter things down. So what this is, again, this is subjective, and I'll show you this here in a minute, because it has a ton of fe uh, features. If you go in here and view my vault, it's going to do based on a, a database. It's going to say, hey, what's good and what's not. And you can kind of, you know, this is what you don't want to keep. Obviously, I have some central value there. But you can actually take things back and forth to say where you keep or not keep them. Now, it will not actually delete at the end of this once you go through all your weapons. It will not actually delete those for you because it can't. But what it will do is it will lock the ones that you want to keep and unlock the ones you don't. And then you can just go into your vault and delete them. Now, obviously, these ratings here, this 25 and 50%, these different ratings are all subjective and based on this database. If you want an alternative opinion, you can also go to the role appraiser of Enlight.gg. So again, this is a great site with a great set of filters over here on the right where you can basically compare and contrast. And again, you don't necessarily have to use any 
of the databases on either one of these, but it does give you a good way to visualize what's in your vault, which can be a little overwhelming. And so if you do that, then you can take a hard look. Well, why does it say this is a piece of crap? Well, let me look at it and see if it is or not. Or why does it say this is a God roll? And then you can make some choices, but this is a great way without having to spend a ton of time sitting in Destiny, trying to actually look at each piece of armor or each piece of weapon. This is a great way to do it really quickly. And when I did this, I was able to clear out about 120 weapons and armor out of my vault that I had no business keeping. Now that we're done with kind of the, the checklist here, right? Well, we're actually, we're not. One thing I kind of forgot about, and that's your glimmer. So one of the things you want to make sure of is when you get to the next season, your office is going to play through campaign and have a lot of opportunities to get glimmer. But there's one issue with that. Since you'll be doing so many upgrades and resetting things, you're going to use a ton of glimmer, right? So because of that, it's really good to bring in basically ships, sparrows, and ghosts that will allow you to get glimmer. And let me tell you what I mean by that. You can take some of the glimmer you have now, you can take that glimmer and you can purchase these things, put them in your vault, put them on your characters, and the next season, they're basically like a bank. And you could take them out and get like 5,000 glimmer at a shot, basically out of them. And one of the things you can do this season is, you can go ahead, let's say you do that and you're on glimmer, then you can play the game more, it gets a little bit more glimmer, or if there's a particular material you don't need any more of, when you go to spider, you can exchange that in and basically store these up. And so that way, what I do is I put some in my vault, I put them all on my characters, and that way if I run short of a little bit of glimmer at the wrong moment, I can get it really quickly without having to grind more in the game. So finally, this is a, like I said, very good overview. The only other thing I would mention is that you may want to get some triumphs done before the season's gone. And so one of the great ways to do that is from Braytech.org. If you haven't used Braytech.org, it's a great site. It has a ton of functionality that I will not be going over in detail today. But one of the things it does, it goes over all your triumphs. And one of the things it will show you is, look, here's your expiring triumphs. If you go to that, that'll show you, and let me show you it like this. It'll show you all the triumphs, but you can also just hide, just to show the ones you haven't redeemed. So obviously there's some of these that I can't do yet because they're, they're things that are tied to the end of the season, but there's some of these that I can finish and get a few extra points to my triumphs if I'd like to. But again, I would also check out Braytech because Braytech has got a ton of other great features. I would definitely check it out. And that's the video, guys. Again, I just wanted to kind of walk through a couple websites that I use. They make my life a little easier, so I'm preparing for next season. But again, the real keys whenever you're doing this planning is storing XP. It's really important. I know some people don't like it, but it is really important. Getting the resources, because again, you don't want to be spending the time in the next season, especially if they're level up armor and things like that. You don't want to be spending time where you're trying to enjoy the game, trying to go through and grind and get those, those particular things, because you can do that now while the season's slow. Look at your weapons. Are there any weapons that you would like to keep or get rid of? Again, keeping in mind what the champion mods are going to be, what the fact that it's going to be heavily in the void next season. You need to start thinking about those things. And then your vault space. Obviously, your vault space needs to be cleared out somewhat, or you're going to be a real pain because you're going to be in the game. You're going to get some great rolls because we never know what the rolls are going to look like in a new season. We don't know how mods are going to work with different perks that are new in the season. And so we're going to be deleting weapons that we might want to keep but we haven't taken the time to do this, so definitely do this. And finally, looking at Glimmer. Looking at Glimmer, making sure you have Glimmer for next season, and then Triumphs. Those are the key things I would be working on between now and the next season. I would do that, and, and obviously where you can take a break. It's going to be in a long season. It's going to be lots of great content. There's going to be lots of great stuff coming up. But again, you need a break. Destiny, you always need a break right before a season. I would definitely do that now. That's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump in my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.